Today I'm going to talk about banks and collateral and mostly I'm going to explain a situation that happens a lot of times when prospective clients are ready to come to PRN funding or another factoring agency and the factoring company uh, does some preliminary due diligence and they discover that the business owner's receivables have already been pledged as collateral to another lender. In most cases, it's usually with a bank. So usually this type of situation happens when, you know, at the time of signing, the business owner uh, is really excited that they're extended a line of credit um, and, you know, papers are pushed, signatures, you know, are scribbled down quickly, um, and they just might not realize that listed within the UCC1 as collateral includes the company's receivables. So basically what happens when a business owner goes to a financing company is that there's going to be a UCC1 drawn up. And this is basically, uh, it's short for the Uniform Commercial Code. And it's a financing statement that basically alerts any other kind of financing company that, you know, X amount of uh, collateral is reserved for that financing institution. So in most cases with banks, something that's usually included in that collateral is receivables. Now it comes into, there's a problem when factoring companies want to work with a business owner and they come across this UCC1 and it shows that the bank already owns the receivables. Um, which basically means that the factor, the receivables aren't for sale. The factor's not going to be able to buy them and fund based off of invoices. So really the business owner is left with three options. One is to pay off the bank entirely, so pay off the line of credit. Two is to pay down a significant portion of the loan so that the bank feels more comfortable, um, you know, releasing um, the receivables to a factor or possibly they pay down the loan enough and then the factor can come in and pay the balance and then take ownership of the receivables. The third type of um, option is for the bank to subordinate the accounts receivable to the factoring company and this pretty much means the bank is agreeing and willing to release ownership of those receivables to the factoring company. So it's important as a borrower and business owner when you're, you know, speaking with banks and you're working on, you know, the terms of the loan and the arrangement going forth to make sure that you are aware you are able to negotiate the terms of the UCC filing. So make sure you ask beforehand what will be included as collateral. And I mean, if the business is relatively new, uh, you know, and you don't have any receivables yet, then feel free to ask the bank to leave that out because doing so will make it much easier, you know, six months, 12 months, two years on down the road to secure a different type of financing arrangement, for example, with a factoring company or another bank. I hope this was helpful. For more information, please visit prnfunding.com.